as a bulb, it consists of these glass letters that we call uh, opal raised glass letters, okay? And they're slightly raised. They were replaced later on by uh, plastic, vacuum-form plastic. This is Willby's clay. This doesn't dry. So, you know, if you want to fill around with it, you don't have to worry about it shrinking and drying. I cut like a jig. Okay, I'm going to do it a little, a little larger. And I just pull this. It's very like this over it. And I keep going over and over it until I get this sort of that shape, that semi-circle shape. I use uh, just different tools to cut it. So I want that in. Some of the letters have a slight spur on them, a little thing in the corner, and I just hand put that on and smooth it down and work it. Okay. So you get it as smooth and as close to what you want as possible. And then from, from this, I take a plaster mold of this, and so I get I get this, okay? And then I'll sand this, which I already did. I sand all the flaws, because it's uneven, out of this. And take another mold off of that, and I got this. <laughs> and then I sand and work this. And each step of the way, I'm getting more and more refined. And it's looking more and more machine. The molds originally were cast iron. And uh, they looked just like my plaster molds here except they were in iron. So these won't last very long. I can maybe, if I'm really careful and do everything right, I can maybe get you know, a dozen firings out of this, maybe. There's a release that's put on the surface. Even the uh, cast iron ones had to have some kind of a mold glass release, otherwise the glass would stick to it. So I use a graphite spray. So I spray that with graphite. And this is my glass. This is in the kiln. I put this right on it, okay? Now level and it sits there and then I start my kiln up and it drapes, it's called draping, around the letter. Okay? And um, the holes are put there so that as the glass starts to drape down around that letter, if there's air caught in there, it has some place to escape. Okay, otherwise it's it's not it happens faster than the plaster can absorb it. So um, it needs to get out fast. Otherwise you can massive big bubbles that form. This predates neon. Neon is like 1923 was the first neon sign in America. So this is in from the teens and then it kind of overlapped when neon started. Electric advertising followed the electric light for less than 10 years. So after Edison uh, came up with the light bulb, you know, it took about less than 10 years for advertisers to start using incandescent bulbs or signage. The glass is removed from the cabinet and placed on a light table. A pattern is traced and that pattern is used to cut film which is adhered to the screen. The screen is set up and registered with the glass using the original pattern that you used to trace. Once everything is in alignment, put ink in the well, flood the screen and press firmly and evenly across the entire surface. When the ink is dry, a mixture of half paint and half varnish is sprayed from the back. 